Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a depression video. I'm gonna talk about when you start hating yourself in depression. There are loads of things in life that we would rather complain about but we wouldn't actually move our asses to do something about. So in this video I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to help you not hate yourself so much. I'm also going to talk about the cycle of hatred, depression and unhappiness and how each of this vicious cycle will just continue until you actually break it. Firstly, you need to analyse the things that make you unhappy. Make a list of those things. For example, I hate my frizzy hair. It makes me very unhappy. But you, you know what? I would rather sit down and complain about it than actually do something about it. So, like I said, make a list of every single thing that you don't like, that you'll hate, that you are unhappy with. For example, if you hate your job, why not speak to the employer and alter your hours? Or change the job? Or, you know, reduce the hours? Or maybe work from home? Or, you know, just make some sort of altercation with your job so that it's not so hard on you. Another thing that I hate is getting to work late. And every time I'm late, I hate myself for being late. And I say, next time I'm not going to be late. And what happens next time? I'm late. So with this, literally what you have to do is make an alarm. And when it goes off, you have to leave the house. Or if you think that's not going to work, make an alarm for 10 minutes before that alarm will go off. So that you know in 10 minutes, you need to get your ass outside of the house and be on your way to work. The third thing I hate is my body image. Um, especially the state of my legs right now and just my body and my face and my hair and I hate it and I don't know for the past few months the hatred has been increasing and it's not a good sign it's because my depression is getting worse and the fact that I'm just going over the stuff that I hate more and more the more I hate it the more I think about it and the more I hate it and that just continues it's just escalating so what I'm gonna do for my face is do masks at least once or twice a week for my frizzy hair, I'm going to do masks at least once a week. For my body, I'm going to do masks and I'm going to start working out. That's it, literally. If you want to complain about it, if you don't like something, you have to do something about it. There is no point sitting down and complaining about it. One, it's going to make your depression worse. Two, it's going to make you feel like poo-poo. And three, you're just going to be wasting time, which is what I've been doing for the past few months, to be honest. The other thing you need to do is ask yourself why you hate those things. What is the reason behind you hating your body? So with me, it's it's a deep question and it's it's one of those questions where you really have to think about the answer. You have to dig deep and find out the root, the psychological cause of that hatred and how it even got to that place. That will take time, that's fine, as long as you sit down and you think about why you hate yourself. When you figure that out, you have to accept it and move on. By accept it, I mean like with my frizzy hair, I have to accept it. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, apart from shaving it, but then obviously that's not an option. So either accept it and move on. There's no point sitting and complaining about it. There's, it's just not gonna work. And I've already touched on this, but you need to figure out solutions. Like when you make the list of the things you don't like, next to them, make a column or is it a row of the solutions. So if it's your body, Start exercising, start eating clean, drink more water. If it's with your job, reduce the hours or do more hours or change your job. Or instead of doing office job, do something else. And that's my tips and tricks on hating yourself in depression and how to not hate yourself so much. It's one of those things with practice, it gets easier and you start finally accepting yourself, accepting your flaws and just appreciating that your body's working fine, your limbs are working fine, you've got eyes and like you can have an independent and free lifestyle like when you compare yourself with other people that are not so privileged that don't have their health like with us I know we have a mental illness which is not visible to the eye, it's still an illness but at least physically we're well enough to do something about it, we're well enough to get our asses moving and go to the gym or go for a walk or just get out of the house basically and that's it on hatred in depression. I really hope you guys find this video helpful. It was bugging me for a long time and I finally decided to sit my ass down and do something about it. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn the notifications on. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.